Hello, my name is Trevor Owsley, leading people from the darkness into the light of who they are. My true religion is beamism, how to find the true self, feel the true self, and be the true self. Today we're going to be talking about how to see the kingdom of God. Far too many of us are walking through life trying to understand what does it mean to understand the kingdom of God. Religious scriptures will tell us that you cannot get to see the kingdom of God until you die. Well, I'm here to turn around and say, I am not taking that to chance. I don't want to miss life just to believe in that when I leave here, I'm going to see the kingdom of God. Something there just didn't make sense. But what about if it was the biggest trick and the biggest lie? And so therefore, if we looked at life and realized that it wasn't the kingdom of God, does that entitle everyone just to create war, kill millions of people, and to look at life and think it isn't worth anything, it doesn't do anything? And so therefore, we have far too many people that can't wait to leave the planet just to go to the kingdom of God. I don't think that's right anymore. Through beamism, I understood the kingdom of heaven and I understood the kingdom of God because far too many of us are walking around on this planet and you do not even notice anything. Why? Because the programming has got you caught. It's kept you blind. It doesn't let you understand the meaning and purpose to life. Beamism teaches you to be able to heal yourself, to heal your own blindness, to heal your own deafness, and to raise yourself up from the dead. This is beamism. For me, I was going through life, I was too busy doing what I thought I should be doing. And then when the awakening came, I suffered a lot of depression. And in that depression, my soul was telling me, this ain't it. For years, I kept hearing the same message, this is not it. Therefore, You feel that you want to leave the planet. Far too many people are thinking about committing suicide because they're just not coping. They just don't fit in. But let's re-look at that. Yes, you don't fit in. And you know why? Because we're all living a lie. For me, when I kind of look at life, you will look at the sky. We look at the grass and the forest and the trees and the animals. But do we really, really look. As long as we believe we're not in the kingdom of God, then it's all right to slaughter animals. As long as we believe we're not in the kingdom of God, it's all right to tear down forests. As long as we believe we're not in the kingdom of God, it's all right to create war and kill millions of people. But don't worry, we're all going to the kingdom of God. There are many religions out there, people that kill themselves and maim and kill many other people. Why? Because in the name of God. And if you do this in the name of God, you'll get the right hand seat next to God. Oh, come on. Let's wake up, please. But have you ever discovered your own meaning behind what life is all about? Well, I did. I looked at myself and realized that I didn't appreciate anything. I didn't appreciate the people in my life. I didn't appreciate myself. I didn't appreciate the one true great journey that I was having. And I was part of being here on this planet that we call humanity. So the kingdom of God was surely going to be missed. In my darkness of depression, anxiety, feeling lost, out of control, I hated myself, and I hated everyone in it. It wasn't worth me being here. There was just no point. Relationships were hard to understand. My jobs were hard to understand. Earning money for survival was even more harder to understand. To survive on this planet. But deep inside of me, my spirit still kept telling me, this is not the way. This is is not how it is meant to be. Beamism. Beamism. It became my body-mind energy. It became my body-mind experience. It was the healing that I was looking for. 
and this great spirit of mine came with the instructions on how to be able to heal yourself, how to understand your emotions, clean up your act, look at life and sort of think, what am I doing? Surely this isn't life. The great stories of the kingdom of God, the great stories of one man being able to heal in miraculous ways. Well, I'm here to tell Rand and say to you that, yeah, so can you, and so can I. I can do miraculous forms of healing. I've healed myself in many different ways. I've healed people in many different ways. It's so interesting when we start to see ourselves, we see life. When did you ever question it? When did you ever look at it and say, is it right? Is this the way? Am I a woman? Am I a man? Am I a human? Well, I bring to the planet that no, you're neither. But what you truly are is a beamy being. You have a body, you have a mind, and you have energy. That is the Trinity. That is the only way that you will get to understand life and its meanings and its purpose. I bring to the planet this new idea, this new identity. I would really like to see it move forward because deep down, it doesn't matter what religion you belong to, you are still a beamy beam. And as far as I can see it, did not God turn around and say, be me? Surely he did. Wasn't that what Jesus said? He told the world to be me. And so therefore we've tried to follow the scriptures, understand and pray to Jesus to make things okay for us. Everyone is still waiting for Jesus to come back and change the planet. But I'm afraid to say, it is us that is here to save the planet. I'm fed up with stories. I'm fed up with listening to people that don't know. They have no idea about life. So let's have a look at the kingdom of God. Have you ever fallen in love with a blade of grass? How do you do that? How do you understand what is a blade of grass? That green stuff that you walk on, that you lay on, that you cut once a month. What is it really? It is pure creation. How do you see the pure creation? You take away the identity. Is it really a blade of grass? No, of course it isn't. It is pure creation. Are you a human being? No, of course you're not. That's an identity that causes a separation to believe that you are a human being. But did you question whether or not you was a human being? No, of course you didn't. You just fit it in. This awakening that's happening on the planet, this depression is all about awakening. To awaken and have a look at life and say, hey, what on earth is going on? When I first woke up, I woke up to hell. It didn't make sense. This is life, is it? This is my one shot. This is my story. This is what I do with my life. Is it good enough? No, it's not. I remember going to the zoo and I was confronted by an emu. And I looked at this emu and I thought, wow, you are a funny bird. Got funny big eyes, a funny big beak, a little head, long neck, a massive body, little wings, long skinny legs and webbed feet. I looked at that and I sort of thought, wow, you are so weird. And the more I was judging it, I could see an emu. It was an emu that stood before me. And so therefore, everything about this bird was an emu. And then a voice said to me, take away the identity. It is not an emu. Take away the identity. Rethink about what it is that you're saying and seeing and feeling. So I re -looked. And I looked and I saw this amazing creation. And it was at that moment I fell in love with the kingdom of God. It was a creation that was on the planet, which I call the kingdom of God. How fantastic. 
I fell in love with so much that the energy within me just brought tears to my face. My heart opened up and I just couldn't believe that I'd been lied to, that this was an emu. It wasn't an emu. It was an incredible piece of art. So incredible that it is on the planet just the same as us. It has no judgments of itself. It has no judgments of anything or anyone. It just does what an emu does. So as human beings, we have separated ourselves. You are man. I am woman. You are a child. You are black. I am white. You are Jewish. You are Islamic. Oh, the list goes on. Wow. We have so missed the point. To understand beamism, to understand spirituality, and to understand becoming one with life, you must take away the separation of words. Look at yourself in the mirror. Watch how you judge yourself. You may say your hair is horrible, your face is horrible, you're getting old, your nose is too big, your eyes are the wrong color, your ears are too big. Well, the list just keeps on going, doesn't it? To understand the beamy process, stop the labels. Stop the words of identity. Look at yourself as a pure creation created by the source energy. You are an amazing instrument. Everything about you is amazing. Everything about you has been divinely perfected in such a way that you don't even have to give yourself a command to make your body work. But look at the way you judge yourself. Look at the way you judge your life. Look at the way you judge everything and everyone. Wow, think about that for the moment. You are abusing yourself. You are abusing your gift and you are definitely abusing life because we're still blind. We're still blind to the fact that life doesn't mean anything, that it's pointless. But I'm here to tell you, it is not pointless and it is not useless and it is not a waste of time. You are an amazing beamy being and you are here to express, to love, and to understand and change something about the system. So if you are one of these beings that just don't feel right, yeah, there's a real good reason. You're not meant to. But you gotta understand that you're here to make something feel good, to make something feel right. Beamism is the lifesaver. Beamism was true to me. My soul said to me, Trevor, you gotta understand who you are to find the illusions. You must know thyself. But what did know thyself mean? It meant I was just a program of experience, of cause and effect. But was that me? No, it wasn't me. I needed to know and understand where was the kingdom of God and where was the kingdom of heaven? Where are the steps? Beamism gave me the steps to the kingdom of heaven. It gave me the steps to be able to heal myself away from the programming. Heal myself away from what I'd been led to believe was true. None of it was true. It was all just made up. I am the observer. I am the thought. I am the feeling. I am the expression of life itself. And it is down to me to find the right words that appropriately fit I am as a being. The kingdom of heaven is a place. It is a feeling. It is when you feel at home that you've understood your body, your mind, and your emotions. You can have the kingdom of hell. The kingdom of hell represents itself when your body, mind, and your emotions are all out of sync destroying yourself. That is hell. 
and I realised I was destroying myself. And I realised that every being on this planet is probably destroying itself. And it doesn't give a shit about anyone or anything on the planet. In hindsight, from a level of divinity, we are evil beings. We eat, literally, everything that we see. We are nasty when it comes to relationships. We are nasty to our parents. Our parents are nasty to us. We don't give a shit about anything. The awakening comes and it looks at you and it says to you, you better start giving a shit. Because if you don't, then life is just shit. The kingdom of heaven is a feeling within. You can heal yourself. You can heal yourself from pain. You can heal yourself from emotions. And you can start to love who you are. Because the biggest problem on the planet is nobody loves who they are. And here's the facts. Nobody is actually being natural. Anything being called human is not being natural to itself or to its environment. And I tell you for why. Because you're still being like your parents and you're still being like the programming. And because you are still being like the programming, then you have no idea of who you are. You will never get to understand the true meaning of your life. You will never find pure happiness. Why? Because it has conditions and it has labels and it has identity problems. The beamy beam takes away all identities. I want you to be able to look at yourself without judging yourself. I want you to look at life and not be able to judge it. I want you to look at life and feel the way that you are feeling because you will discover you don't feel good at all. So how do we understand love? Love comes naturally when we stop abusing ourselves and living in the program that you are called a human being. Once you understand that you have been abusing yourself and all that you have been doing is carrying the past experiences of emotions, then you will never know how to act and feel and see the true gift of life. You will never be able to connect with your true purpose and you will never, ever truly love another because you are hoping that the people will love you. So you need now to grow in consciousness. Beamism and the power and the gift of three letters, two words called Beamy is your higher level of consciousness. Once you start to understand your higher levels of consciousness, then you can understand relationships. Then you can understand how to control your anger. Then you can know how to physically heal someone. Then you can know how to help someone heal themselves. But I'm afraid to say, Earth, run by dark spirits and demons, it doesn't take too long to look at and find out who is dark. We are supposed to be incredible beings. But we are in the kingdom of God. Take a real good look. If I was to offer you a £40,000 diamond and I was to give you a pebble off the beach, what is it worth? Would you go for the diamond? Would you go for the pebble? For me, it doesn't matter. They both come off of the kingdom of God. But both have a price tag on them. And one is more expensive than the other. You can go and pick up a pebble. And you know why I believe the pebble on the beach is so important? Because one day, you will not be able to pick up that pebble. You will not be able to feel it and see it. It's authenticness. Reason why? You just call it a pebble. It doesn't mean anything. It has no value. Oh my God, we are so wrong. You have so been tricked. You have been lied to. You have been made a fool of. We are in the kingdom of God. You tread on the kingdom of God. I had this vision once that I died and I met God and I said to God, okay, where is the kingdom of God? And God said to me, you just left it. I showed you the kingdom of God. You went down to experience the kingdom of God. I showed you all the beauty. I gave you literally everything. But in your own human way, in your own human language, you didn't see it. 
You didn't understand it because you were so emotionally in conflict. You had no idea of who you were and where you had been for the last 30, 40, 50, 60 years of your life. You had no idea. You was more interested in seeing what was on TV. You was more interested in seeing what animal you could eat. You was more interested in trying to keep your emotions in check. You was more interested in crying for God to help you. You were so much more interested in nothing. Absolutely nothing. And that's why you can look at your life and say it's pointless. Because it is. The material world is pointless. There's nothing there, really. There is no substance. You just earn money, you spend money. You earn more money and you spend more money believing that the things that you need, please wake up. Have a real good look at the stars. Have a real good look at the sky. The birds, the animals, the insects, the forestry. Wow. To truly understand and wake up, it's not about healing everybody. It's not about turning into light beings. It's not about becoming this amazing, incredible being at all. To wake up is a natural thing. Wake up and see the kingdom of God. Wake up and see this amazing planet. Wake up and see yourself one day in the true way. It's an incredible feeling. It's the feeling that you've all been chasing. There is nothing greater than truly understanding who you are. There isn't. There's only one of you. There will only ever be one of you. What do you do with that? Do you trash it? Do you love it? Do you destroy it? Far too many people want to destroy themselves. It's so sad. It breaks my heart. I had a brother that did exactly that. He took his own life. He destroyed himself. A shame. We are incredible beings. The goal of the soul is trying to get you to believe and understand that you are so incredible. Once you represent yourself as a beamy being and you understand that you are a beamy being, I suggest you write a letter to your soul and I suggest that you speak with this soul and you ask your soul to help you and to help you to connect to God. And God will then connect with the soul and the soul will then give you the experiences of what you're looking at to understand the meaning of life. That's all you're here for. You're part of this great civilization that we call Earth. This is our life. Our one life to make a difference to the world. And how do you do that? Just by being you. But it's being able to be the right you. What is the right you? How to understand who is you? Well, one thing I can tell you is this. You're not a being of pain. You're not a being of illness. You was here to truly understand everything about yourself. And when you start to awaken, the first thing you need to do is to rewrite your past. Because your past has been telling you so much. You missed it. You just think that your past was full of emotions. But it isn't. It's a great journey. It's an amazing journey, and you need to understand it. Follow the beamy way. Be the beamy. Understand your body, your mind, and your emotions. Understand your body, your mind, and your experience. And realize you are having an experience. When you look at the Christ message, it just represents a guy that brought love. He brought a new way, he brought a new understanding. He just wanted love. And he showed the people that the life that they was leading was not the real life. That wasn't the life of God. That wasn't a divine life. And when he said to the people, you know, behold God, everyone just went, where? I don't see it. I see it. I cried for a long time when my eyes opened and I saw life for the very first time. I cried for a long time when my eyes opened and I saw me. I felt so ashamed of the way I treated myself and life and the relationships that I'd met. Wow. That's the dark night of the soul. The dark night of the soul comes in and says, wow, look at what you've done. 
Look at what you thought life was all about. It's not been good, is it? And that's the sadness you all feel. That's the feeling that every being is feeling. They do feel sad. They're missing their journey. They're missing who they are. They've not fallen in love with anything or anyone. Why? Because it has conditions. We are truly magnificent beings. We truly are an instrument of God. Once you understand getting rid of and healing the human ways, and you discover the beamy way, then you will truly understand the kingdom of heaven is within you. And once you understand the kingdom of heaven is within you, you will see the kingdom of God. And it is absolutely fantastic. And even in your darkness where you feel that you want to end it all, do you know what? Life can still begin. This is your one shot. Don't mess it up. Don't mess up other people's lives. Wake up. Reconnect. Believe in yourself. Understand yourself. And love yourself as the greatest being on the planet. This is the kingdom of heaven within. And how do we do that? Resolve the human side of you. Resolve the pain of you. Heal yourself. Rearrange yourself. Transform yourself. Rewrite your past. And in that, you will truly understand that your life was not pointless. You will understand that life had really been showing you everything that you needed to know. You was just too blind to see it. Beamism is the call. Beamism is the awakening. And beamism can really transform you into believing and becoming a greater you. And if you can do that, then you will truly see the kingdom of God before you. My name is Trevor Owsley. Thank you for listening. Hi guys, my name is Trevor Owsley, teaching that there is another way through the dark night of the soul. I'm here today to introduce to you a Skype meeting, a consultation with me for one hour live so that you can speak to me about your problem and your situation. Now, if you do fancy a Skype meeting with me, then go on to my Facebook page, which is Trevor Owsley, Teaching Beamism. Drop me a message and I will get back to you with the details of how you can speak with me and explain what is going on within your journey. Because one of the things that I've discovered is there's nothing greater than finding someone that knows where you're at. This is one of the things that I always wanted to find, was somebody that knew me, somebody that could explain what on earth am I going through. I've had a lot of emails wanting to speak to me, so I'm opening the doors for you to give you the chance to be able to come through and share with me your journey so that I can share with you the information that saved my life, basically, and I want to give this to you because once you get this information and you work with this information, then who knows? Maybe you will meet somebody, somebody else that is going through the dark night of the soul or is going through depression and anxiety or feels completely lost in life. I want to share with you this information so that you can then pass it on to somebody that may need it. This is where we're at. This is what we're going to do, and this is how we're going to do it. So as I said, drop me a line on Facebook, Trevor Owsley, Teaching Beamism. Send me a mail, and I will give you all the instructions and the directions, and we can make a date and have a chat for one hour. Speak to you then. <laughs>